Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to an updated Best Graphics Cards for the Money video. I uploaded one last month. It's been about a month since I did the last video. So here we go, another update to this series. Let's get right into this with the first graphics card. First GPU I put in my list is the XFX R7260X for $100 after a mail-in rebate. Now, what I really like about this GPU is that it's cheap, obviously. For $100, you're getting a pretty solid GPU. It's got one gigabyte of video buffer, and you're also getting two free games out of AMD Silver tier of games from their AMD rewards program that they're doing uh, so for hundred dollars you're getting two triple-a games as well for free now this GPU is not meant to run every game at 1080p max settings at 60 FPS that's just not what you're gonna get with this GPU this is a great graphics card though if you play at a resolution like 1280 by 720 or even 1600 by 900 you're gonna be able to play games like Battlefield 4 at high settings at about 40 frames per second kind of performs similarly to a console uh, maybe not as well but you get the point and again, you're getting two free games with it also, and for $100, you're getting, you know, two, maybe $20, $30 games. That is value uh, in itself, so I highly recommend this graphics card if you're on a tight budget. This is the kind of GPU I'd use in a, you know, $400, $450 build. This fits in really well. Moving on, an NVIDIA GPU, I went with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti from Asus. Now, the GTX 750 Ti has been coming down in price, and now it's about $135, which I think is a fantastic deal for this GPU. It's, in, it's from Asus, and their cooling solution is really nice. You can easily overclock this GPU. It's got 2 gigabytes of video buffer. Kind of the same realm as the R7-260X. You're not going to be playing every game at 1080p at max settings, but you can play games at 1080p. I mean, if you're playing games at medium settings... Uh, 35, 40 frames per second if you're okay with that. This is a really nice GPU. And uh, since it's from NVIDIA, you get all their exclusive features like adaptive V-Sync, Shadow Play, all that uh, good stuff. Uh, I think NVIDIA is definitely uh, head and shoulders above AMD as far as uh, their exclusive features go. But that's just my preference. If you uh, th that's, a, that's a whole nother different video if we want to get into that war. So let's just keep it at that. The 750 Ti right now for $135 is a really solid deal. Uh, you're going to be running most of the latest titles like Battlefield Field 4, uh, Witcher 3 that's coming out, Watch Dogs, uh, well Watch Dogs is kind of an iffy scenario since the game's a shitty port, but you get the point. You're going to be running the latest titles at decent frame rates at 1080p, kind of, again, this is kind of the GPU that's going to perform very similarly to what the console's do, uh, doing. Uh, the PS4 can run Battlefield 4 at 900p at about, you know, 45 to 60 frames per second. You're probably going to be getting about that range with this GPU. Moving on to the next GPU, I went with the Sapphire Radeon R9 270X, and let's group the Sapphire Radeon R9 280X in there with it. Uh, they're both fantastic GPUs. The R9 270X is a really good GPU for 1080p gaming, and then the 280X is a phenomenal GPU for 1080p gaming. Uh, what I really li like about the 280X right now is that the price is coming down real quick on it. It's all the way down to $240, and that's a really solid deal for this GPU. If you're interested in the 270X and the 280X, obviously you're going to be getting a uh, th uh, two free games with the 270X and three free games with a 280X, so that's a really good value, and with the 280X, you're getting some really new titles, like Murdered Soul Suspect, I believe Witcher 3 is on the list, uh, Battlefield 4 is rumored to be adding uh, on the list of AMD, onto the AMD Rewards Program, so, you know, a lot of value with these AMD GPUs, and these GPUs are really good, uh, the 270X, I'd recommend picking that up in a $600 to $700 build, and the 280X, you know, in a $800, $900, $1,000 dollars build, this is a really good all-around GPU, in my opinion, the 280X that is and the 270X again it's really good in budget build uh, but not as low as you know $400 uh, this the 270X 500 600 700 really good option to get uh, the 270X at that price point. Finally, uh, ending things off with an NVIDIA GPU, the Gigabyte uh, GTX 770 for $310. I threw this in there because I know a lot of you guys are preferential to the uh, NVIDIA exclusive features like Shadow Play and Adaptive VSync, so I wanted to throw that in there. $310 is a decent price. As far as performance goes, uh, it performs similarly to the 280X and is obviously a lot more expensive, so that's kind of a negative on it. But you are getting a free copy of Borderlands, the pre-sequel. I don't know how you guys feel about that game. I've already ranted enough about that game. But it is what it is. It's a free $60 title. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty good GPU. And the Gigabyte model has a really good uh, cooling solution. So you can easily overclock this bad boy. And as far as performance goes, uh, right out of the box, it's fantastic. Uh, I have a GTX 770 myself. I run the EVGA one in my main build. And it runs every game at 1080p. Even if I crank games up to 1440p, they run fairly well. So yeah, thanks for watch this video guys remember to hit that like button subscribe and comment down below and i will talk to you all later goodbye